How can we measure height from angles? You may have seen engineers or workers looking through a camera-like device. They are not filming, they are surveying the land. The camera-like device they use is called a theodolite. A theodolite is used to measure heights and distances by measuring angles. How can we measure height using angles? Let's say you want to measure the height of this tower. You are standing at a distance of 9 meters from the base of the tower. And you are looking at the top of the tower. The line connecting your eyes and the top of the tower is called your line of sight. The angle between your line of sight and the horizontal is called the angle of elevation. You use a theodolite and measure the angle of elevation as 45 degrees. Now, using the trigonometric ratio, we get tan of angle 45 degrees equals CB upon AB. We know that tan of 45 degrees is 1 and AB is 9 meters. On solving, we get CB equals 9 meters. Next, BD equals your height, which is say 1.7 meters. So, the height of the tower is CB plus BD. That is 9 meters plus 1.7 meters, which equals 10.7 meters. So, we have found the height of the tower as 10.7 meters. In the 1800s, the East India Company started the Great Trigonometric Survey project with the aim of measuring the entire Indian subcontinent. Heavy theodolites were used in this project. One of the major accomplishments of this project was the measurement of the height of Mount Everest. In fact, Mount Everest was named after the British officer George Everest who led the Great Trigonometric Survey. This survey took almost 70 years to complete and the lives of many Indian labourers working on the project. That's a terrible cost for any project. <laughs>